today's cup of coffee is the drive home. Yeah. It's been a hell of a week. I got a cigarette in my face. He does have a cigarette in his face. He's got a cat that's still got the wonkies on his lap. That's been interesting trying to go into stores today and shop. But she was in a little pet bag. Nobody even noticed. Nobody noticed. Nobody noticed at all. So, yeah. It's fine. It is fine. And so it's just, this is a little espresso shot and showing you some of the area because we do have new viewers and stuff. Uh, in the past, we've done videos that show some of the area where we live. And somebody had asked the other day uh, if our area was near the flooding. No, that was up Buchanan County, which is actually close to Kentucky. Yeah. So we're closer to Tennessee. Yeah, we are much closer to Tennessee than we are um, Buchanan County, yeah. Kentucky. Mm -hmm. We're much closer to Tennessee than Kentucky. <laughs> and it's like I hate it for those folks because they that was a mess and so we we were very blessed that it wasn't like that down here yeah um, and it's like you know our terrain and our climate is usually pretty moderate um it's not a bad place to live at all it's just that it's of course it's like every place now there are these little rural areas that have been hit by everything everything but we've got a lot of blessings here we have beautiful area to live in we don't we have a very low crime rate most of it it's a matter you have to watch out for relatives we don't worry about strangers so much it's family yeah. you gotta be careful of well, you don't and idiots you don't. and idiots yep there goes one damn so, that double line doesn't mean him. No. That no. speed limit doesn't mean him. Doesn't mean him at all. And you've always My got God. those kind that they think they're special. And they may be special, but they don't need to be behind a wheel being special. No. No, they do not. But we appreciate the prayers from everybody. We really do. Yeah. Uh, we need them. That's one of the things that keeps us going right now. And we'll take you up through the holler. And this is one of those. I swear there, there's some kind of something that goes on through there. It just sucks the light out. Doesn't matter. It just drinks the light. It really does. And it's spooky. It there. is spooky. And I've had to... You've had to run through here. I, I did because In I ran out dark, of gas. The pitch black night. Yes. And it was one of those I absolutely ditched my cousin. You know, God love her. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is, this is actual. This is... I mean, I'll put it on high beams and you can see. It's, it's still spooky. dark. It's spooky. God, I can't imagine. And it's walking. not one of those happy spookies. It's just one of those damn I get can't me imagine out of here. running through here at night. Yeah, it was years ago. I could still run. Now I would just have to waddle quickly. <laughs> still, I can't imagine having to do that. I really can't. But pe for people who are like, hmm, I wonder what it's like where they live. Here you go. Now it does. Even out here in a minute, you've got a little more <laughs> valley. Uh, which, yeah, this is it. This mountains. And there's worse than, than this in this area. And, you know, compared to some of the places, oh, we're absolutely metropolitan. But now when you've got these cow path roads and people that... <clears throat> they don't understand to slow down. That's always... Well, we just talked about stupid people yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. <clears throat> My God. It, it's just... You can get a shot of the mountains to tip it just up a little bit. Yeah. It's beautiful. 
Yeah. Wonky. Wonky. Wonky baby. Yeah. So, we'll take groceries to my mother. Yeah. And if you've had experiences with paranormal, supernatural, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, having to shop for two people at one time. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Know that you're loved. You can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. And...